Found yeah. Yeah. Huh, another hallway. Oh no, another that's, hallway. That's, that's basically what a fat person tells himself when he's looking for his penis. It's not going to open because what, you rattled it. What you found it? Yes. <laughs> wow. Damn it. Look over so, here. So like you know, layers and stuff. Elevators. Lovely. And the buttons? Of course they don't work. The power must be yeah, out here too. Buttons. Just the call the elevator. Go, you go, the... that leads go, go, Gadget, there. press the button. <laughs> well, looks like we don't have any choice. Yeah. Sure does. Well then, let's open it. All right. No, Here don't I open go. it. No, don't open it. Don't go in there. God, what's, what's with the, oh. what's with the um, useless, <laughs> like, context here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, a door. Yes, maybe we should open it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, hey, then. I've opened Here it. I go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open I'm it I'm open the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, for fuck's can... sake. <laughs> okay. it's, it's a visual novel. Isn't it obvious? Yeah, which means I can see it, so I don't have to know what they're, like, doing, because I can see it. You really think it'd be that easy? Ah, no. Yeah, I know. Still. If we can just get through this Just one second. I need to breathe in and out, and in and out, and in and out. Oh my god, check it out. Sada's breathing, and he's breathing in and out, and in and out. Jesus Christ, you're just put- you're just- you're just put- you're just stalling! This reminds me of the, um, when I was at the hospital I was on the resuscitate. Oh I was my god, just stop. <laughs> It's what it is, man. Sorry. I guess that was You made that, you said that last time. Just get over it. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's take a look. Hey. Got a meep. What's that? What? I didn't do anything. Oh yeah, uh, I guess I forgot to tell you. Oh yeah, they don't know about is the map. Any... So, is there anything else you forgot to tell us, Junpei? Like, why you locked us all in here? <laughs> I didn't lock you in here! That's what someone... That's what someone who I didn't know would say. <laughs> it could have been you that ago. locked us in! Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? Uh, tell the rest of the class? It's a map of the B-deck. You Let better not be that. pregnant. What, did you have sex for in the, the short amount of span of 50 minutes? <laughs> yes, yes, hold your horses. What did you figure out? This is handy. The Lotus See, is a bitch. We here. <laughs> if we go out I mean, we already there, figured that out in the last playthrough. Dradadun. <laughs> How about that? She's right. We can get out through there. There we go. Here. We can get around it by going through Thanks. the kitchen. There's a card reader on the right side of the door. And that means the key card is somewhere in here, right? That's you have a note early. All right, we know what we need to do then. Let's get, get to going. work. First off, I say we split up and look for clues. Soiks! Okay, okay. film. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say, Fred? <laughs> okay, film. Isn't it not like Fred that says that? That's I. Yeah, well, I was purposely doing that on put Like, you know, so what, you combine them together. Oh, right, filmer. Filmer. <laughs> oh, right, like, Richard, you have another objective. Okay. Richard, your next Fine. objective. Is, Richard, your next objective is if you go into the. I gotta got leave! I gotta oh, leave! <laughs> oh, look, he found the cheese room. <laughs> Gun the cheese. Wow. So, your next objective is you have to say something particular, Richard, when someone asks you a question. Okay. Well, this pot looks like it's made out of silver. I bet drinking tea from this pot would be really yummy. Not if you were a werewolf. Spending a day with June drinking tea. Could a day such as that ever happen for me? Jumpy? Oh, no, no, nothing. It's the Pope Catholic. We don't really need No. To, we don't really need hot water, so uh, we could, uh, should be moving on. Go back in the cheese room. <laughs> it's a partition that splits the room. 
It's on the right side of the wall. It's one of those swinging doors. You see them online between kitchens and dining areas and restaurants. Without this door, you need to run all the way around to the partition and get, get to the other side. That'd be a real pain in the ass, huh? Well, I guess it's not really important, but still. Okay, hold on. Go in. Wow, jump reach really high. Oh, he can jump <laughs> really high. Yeah. I can jump pretty high. I can, I can, dunk, like my, I can dunk like Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm part black. <laughs> Calm down, Richard. It's fine as long as you don't touch it. The, the light of the, the pantry. You're fine. <gasps> okay, okay. Okay. Anything there? Ah! Okay. A rusty a knife. knife. I don't think we'll be able to use it. A rusty like knife. This. Ah, rusty Futile. nail. Futile. I beg your pardon. You know, Futile. A waste, useless, pointless. Oh. Um. Um. Uh, any. You're not talking my dick, are you? you? That up? Oh, no reason really. I was just thinking about futility. Just calling huh? you out. Why were you oh. thinking about futility? Well, it has something to do with the Titanic. The Titanic? Wait, what? Yep. Have you ever heard the story that the sinking of the Titanic was predicted? Was it no. Okay, do I need to say yes I have or no I haven't? This isn't the choice. You can actually ask. You can, you can answer honestly. Um. Say no. Then she'll tell you. Have you, have you actually heard about the? Have you actually heard that the Titanic was predicted before? I'm not too sure. In 1892, oh. 14 years before the Titanic sank, a novel was published. It was called Futility. It was written by an American novelist named Morgan Robertson. The story was about a big cruise ship colliding with an iceberg and sinking. Of course, if that was the only similarity, there wouldn't be any reason to mention it. It wasn't though. The name of the ship, its nationality, um, course, just that you know, um, the book Futility is a real book. Uh. Size, displacement, maximum speed, number of passengers and crew, the number of lifeboats, even the location of the accident itself, and the cause, and the location of the damage. Everything matches the Titanic almost exactly. It was almost. Except it wasn't called the Titanic. The it was called happen. the. Titanic. <laughs> this book was written 14 years before the Titanic sank. Maybe we should have read this before sailing the boat. <laughs> but that's not. I, I like that. There's a Titanic replica now. 999 predicted 999. <laughs> there were two other similar stories written by a man named William Thomas Stead. Both of them before the accident. One in 1886 and one in 1892. Stead Thank wrote you. two stories that had striking similarities to the Titanic disaster. In one, two ships collided. So we'd like to come, like, ask you a question. Sure, what is it? We've been reading your books and they seem to have very specific details as to how the Titanic sank. What are you trying to imply here? We we think that we think that you pulled the we think you're the one that sank the Titanic. By what? Sure Bringing that iceberg towards it? <laughs> He's a witch! He's a Get him! <laughs> <laughs> you bastards! I hate you all! Right, I knew you'd say that. Hmm? But, what if Stead had some sort of special powers? To be more specific, He's the witch! Get him! He had the ability to do automatic writing. I wish I had the power of automatic writing. Wait, are you? about when someone's possessed by a spirit and then they they write a bunch of stuff without knowing what they're writing yes. man richard could really use that for some of his scripts what do you mean yes oh! this stuff's a load of bull but jumpy you said you believe in curses come on that's yeah, not totally stupid different. ones okay let's say hypothetically that automatic writing isn't a total load these guys still couldn't have predicted the sinking of the titanic when this Stead dude wrote his thing, nobody had died on the Titanic yet. So if automatic writing is about being possessed by dead people, who the hell possessed him so he could write that stuff? That's not it. What's not it? Stead wasn't possessed by a spirit. He was doing the possessing. Oh. Hmm. 
what are you smoking? William Thomas Stead Cheese. was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down what he saw with his own eyes 20 years before it happened. Um, well, uh... <laughs> well, uh... Uh, why, why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? Huh? But... Come on, let's get back to it. What? Ah, rusty knife! We're really in trouble. I know I'm just repeating myself, but this really is a futility moment. That blade is so rusty. Yeah, I know. We can't cut a dumb thing with this knife as it is. If we're gonna cut anything, we probably have to sharpen the knife. <laughs> Why did you kill yourself? It looks... It looks like some kind of large tin container. Well, it's empty. Well, thanks for that. There's so much stuff in here. A whole lot of cans. This is probably a pantry. Anything Get the cheese, Richard. Oh, do I have to? Let's check this. Oh, yeah. Okay, we can't check. <laughs> There's something behind here. <laughs> it, uh, hey. There's something behind the cheese. You're right. Why don't we move some cheese? Alright, guys, time to move it. I just need to look behind you. There's a little green bottle back there. I did it! I did it! I didn't explode! Oh, look! Cooking oil! You could probably use this to make something slippery. It's cooking oil! You don't drink it! Oh, no, no! <laughs> There's a number of cheeses lined up on the shelf. Oh. This is good. This is good a cheese. No, it's evil cheese. The most famous Dutch cheese. If you don't cut the, if you don't, if you don't cut the case, it, it, it usually won't go bad. So you can store it at room temperature for quite a while. So we can eat this. Most likely. I'm not hungry. At all. I guess it's hard to get hungry in a terrifying situation like this. <laughs> wow, he really. Jupe, where are you going? I'm not going back in there. I'd rather starve to death than eat cheese. There's a bunch <laughs> of weird, wavy ridges on this plate. Those plates are for serving meat. Ugh, oh, you really are an ignorant person, aren't you? Come on, it's not like I need to know this crap. Cheese. Maybe. Cheese? I think there are 15 of these plates. I'm assuming they're for seafood. How the hell can you tell of that? They look like just like any of the other plates from the 99 cent store. If you ever take a lady out to dinner, you're going to embarrass yourself. Good thing that's not going to happen. Uh, I feel sorry for June. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, what, the, what, the, what the hell are you bringing this up, June? The lady does protest too much, me think. We're not terribly subtle. Wait, where's that knife? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's fucked up. One, two, three. There's ten of them. If you flip these over, they look oh like god. hats. Oh my god, too. Oh my god, he, he counted to oh three god. and then he counted to three and then skipped the rest of the numbers. <laughs> he counted to three. The middle is super deep for a plate. They're soup plates. They're made that way so soup doesn't spill. If we ever get out of here, you should treat yourself to a nice dinner out. What are you trying to say, like? What makes you think a poor college student has the money to do something like that? <sighs> Let me guess. It's a square plate. Those nine plates look pretty expensive. 
Those plates are for appetizers. Remember, appetizers usually come on square plates. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, excuse me, princess. What's this, what Bill? <laughs> There's a voucher on the other <laughs> counter. This voucher doesn't match the number of plates on the table. Well, excuse me, bitch. It says, appetizer 9, meat dish 10, soup A, seafood dish F on the voucher. And the plates on the table are 9 appetizers, 16 meat, 10 soup, and 15 seafood. Hmm. Maybe they're using hexadecimal here. And that's the one! That was the one I was trying to explain last time we played this! And hexadecimal is... It's a number system that goes 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 10, 11. You're familiar with base 10, right? Oh, God. That's the normal system of numbers. The base 10 equivalents for hexadecimal numbers would go like this. A equals 10, B is 11, C 12, P 13, E 14, F 15. So A was 10 and... F is 15 of the plates. And 10 is 16. The 10 becomes 16 in base 10. I know it sounds strange, but you can think of it just as six le letters added onto the normal number system after nine. A10, B11, C12, D13, E14, F15. 10, 16, and so on. Oh, that was a in, that was a jump in a, in a monologue. I think I get man. it. Oh, sorry. Man, oh my, my god! Man, my brain, man, man, my brain actually managed to replicate <laughs> Lotus's voice inside my head. <laughs> sorry. I'm actually really smart. <laughs> all right, it's going. Do you think it was all part of Zero's plan? Probably. Kind of hard to believe that there's a chef on board somewhere. I wonder what this drawer is. You see the metal grate on top of this grate? They make it like that so that the fat and juices can drip off the meat while it cooks. Oh. Wait, you mean this? Wait, you mean this? Wait, you mean this fan here? Get out of the way, I gotta eat it! <laughs> Maybe it's stuck with fat. Fat. <laughs> what about it's the other drawer? Coal. There's some coals down here. The bright red. Eh, this one? Oh, it looks like yeah. there's an area under it. That play opens up. No, you can't. I already checked. It's sealed shut. <laughs> I think that's where the coal goes. Open it up. Woo! Hop about the coal train, baby! <laughs> oh, God damn it. I thought Santa would love that. No, I would not. <laughs> All we got here is a pot and a frying pan. Oh, and a pressure cooker. Well, I guess we could use some of those as weapons. Throw the pressure cooker. What kind of idiot are you? You're gonna run around holding that thing while you're looking looking for the dead? Hey man, it was just a joke. Why so serious? Ugh. We've got a Batman fanboy over here! There's a pot on top of the stove. If there is some ingredients around here, I can cook something up for us. Lotus, you can actually cook? Who the hell do you think I am? Oh. Better believe I know how to boil hot water and put in my instant noodles. Me. Um. <laughs> and and I can boil eggs too. Um. What is this? <laughs> it's a you need a combination. One, two, three, four. This is probably what you're supposed to use to enter the password. Maybe if we put in the right number, it'll open the oven door. Maybe it's a combination, something like, um, the plates. But first, hold up, is there anything else? What is over here? Countertop. You've got a rolling pin and a colander. I can use for another word. That's the exit. There's, there's a big old iron plate over there. I don't think we can open it. Right. Gee, no shit. Open up the door. Hey, Santa. Could you open that door, please? What the hell? 
There's no way I could open that thing. Weak. Guess you're getting, guess you're getting to that age where your eyes start to go, huh? You better watch your mouth, boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> or, or someone might live long enough to see that door open. Oh. This has got the two of them on edge. We gotta get out of here yeah. fast, otherwise I'll start killing people with my rusty knife. There's another door. <clears throat> it's a lot of notes. They've got a bunch of stuff friend on them. It doesn't look like a code or anything like that. Right. Oh, okay. Eh. It's a bolt. And it's really rusty. Will this even open? We don't know if we don't try. Let's give it a shot. Alright, let's see if you're gonna come out. Damn! <laughs> no dice! <laughs> you didn't even try! They used the cooking oil. This bolt looks rusted in place. It won't budge. Of course! Maybe if I put some oil on it... It'll become oily. Hey! Just a little bit of oil and... <laughs> oh. Ah, yeah, I got you, <laughs> you little bastard. <laughs> you did it, Jumpy. You're so smart. <laughs> she called me smart. Yay. Inside, oh, inside God, it's cold in here! <laughs> what is this place? Are you blind? It's called it's the freezer. The freezer. <laughs> There's freezer standing right behind him. It goes, pew, <gasps> <laughs> kill Sans. Oh, no way. That's way too cold for me. I'll freeze solid in seconds. Sorry, Maybe if she I'm actually had some cat. clothes on, she'd be I'm fine. Finally the rest to you. Exactly. From all I could tell, she's just wearing that weird top and like something drooping down, uh, uh, like uh, just barely over a groin area. She's wearing oh, pants. Oh, it's really cold in here. Hey, you don't need to be in here. You had a fever just a little bit ago. You should stay outside. We got this. Exactly. Oh, I said go outside. The fever's gone now. But yes, sure, sure it's gone. Huh? Oh great! Oh We're shit! Locked in. Oh no, look at that! The no. door's now sealed Why because did it the pipe burst. Close? Ah, the knob's frozen. <laughs> but why? It looks like the, looks like the knob's got blue balls. Broke and... <laughs> hey, Lotus, you're out there, right? Open the door. No, what do you want? Time. What's going on? The Open the door! Open. Try opening it from that side, please! Oh, fine. If you say so, hold on. He's just making noises. It's no use. It won't budge. You've got more people it's than me. It won't you budge, guys. You, you, I, I can't do it. I, I, I tried my best. She didn't oh. try, did she? <laughs> Anyway, uh, let, let, let's find a way out. This we is where your choice is going to come into play now. We're going to be permanent residents. To do it is cool. Cool. better than none. I, I'm sure we'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah. Why did they close right. the door? Let's they didn't close the door. The door closed by itself. This room. Okay. Right. Why did Lotus not hold the door open? Right. Is she selfish? <laughs>